everyone welcome back for more exos heroes content today i'm going to talk about janai's damage over time team so it's possible team composition roles of each member or each hero on that team and the overall team strategy but before that if you want to see more exos heroes content please hit the subscribe button down below with the recent announcement of uh, janai's october 1 uh, fc FC release, um, I actually came across an idea on how to how to create this damage over time heal, sorry, damage over time team around her because um, I think she's going to be part of the new PvP meta. Um, I'm sure there are going to be other team comps out there, but I'd like to build this team around damage over time because number one nobody has really exploited damage over time uh, before um, uh, before um, Janai was more or less um, uh, announced yesterday so I will go over first um, the components of this team so as you can see here in the screen you have six heroes but obviously you need only four uh, five so more or less um there will be interchangeable parts in this proposed team because number one i i don't have the time yet to to test run this team uh, because Jinai has been released yet uh, it will be by tomorrow hopefully i could pull her um but there are there are roles in this team which i will define later and i will also discuss on which are the interchangeable um units in this team also I'd like to discuss um, uh, probably another hero to be included in this team as a possible, um, possible, uh, you know, possible option if you don't don't have some of the heroes that are in this screen right now. So, the concept of a damage over time team um, came to mind also because um again if you all know i have been playing magic the gathering for a couple of years i already quit a couple of years ago or around 10 years ago but there are there are some concepts that specialize in specialized teams or specialized decks if you call them in magic so um this one is a specialized uh, team again that uh, the win condition would be uh, mostly da damage over time damage so i want to exploit that because it has never been done before and after this one we'll start to discuss more or less um, what each hero um, gives to the team and i'll discuss more or less my first five more or less the the core then the others that can be you know can act as probably sixth man or can be can be swapped out for other heroes so currently right now in in our game there are emerging specialized heroes um the first one that i noticed was uh was fc valentina uh with her specialized ability into having to 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 have mana burn and Jinai, i think is the second one uh she exploits um, damage over time that well and she actually gives a lot of um, attack increase or uh, attack speed increase to her team so let's try to move on to Janai's stats first as you can see here boys and girls um, Janai will will be available to be summoned um, Philippine time by tomorrow um, and uh, she can be summoned for a week up to October 8th. So more or less, um, the, the, the team that, that I'm building or I'm trying to build and try to try once, once I have her um, is, um, again, is mainly built around damage over time abilities. So the, the theme or the, the, the purpose of the team is to really control the tempo, control the speed, control the defensive end, and really control, it's, it's like board control. You, uh, you, you 
as much as possible, don't give any um, give an opportunity for your opponents to do something or slow them down. So let's go over through Janai uh, Janai's uh, skills. Um, Janai is is more or less the 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 hero that runs this team. Without without her new passives, um, this <coughs> this uh, team would not be possible. So let's skip her stats. I'll go directly to her passive because her passive is um, what will run this team eventually. So the first one will be um, her buff. So there's a buff increase attack speed of all allies of the same row as self by 20 for 7 turns. So she gives her team right off the bat with the same row that she's in. And again, what's nice about this one is it increases once she gets the chance to debuff the opponent. So once she adds a debuff, the whole the, the, the whole team increases their speed. So so again it it distances um, your team from the other team in terms of turns so you'll be able to get more I think turns because of this one so the next would be she also has a debuff so decre uh, decreases attack of all targets by 40% for seven turns so again she also gives your opponent decreased attack which again improves the survivability of your team and Jinai as well so again she controls the board heavily in terms of what you can do and what the opponents can do which is which is really good and it's a really new dimension of how how PvP will be played the next is your charm so afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with charm so mark and decreases their attack speed by 30 so um, this is new because last night I seem to not see charm here in her update but it's now included in in this one so they must have updated and included charm so afflicts enemies again with lower attack than self with charm mark and decreases their attack speed by 30 so this this again uh, decreases their attack further attack speed further so she increases your team while decreases the, 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 the that the attack speed of, of the other enemy's team so I didn't see this yesterday um, I was I this probably is something new uh, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll try to we'll try to verify this if charm is really in her final kit um, once I, I summon her once she drops tomorrow um, we'll have to verify this because uh, this was added recently. The next uh, passive skill is her superstars or afflicts the attention mark for seven turns to target when the skill hits increase hits increase all damage over time to target with attention by hundred percent. So again, if she lands a skill, all damage over time effects on that hero or that unit or sorry or that hero. Um, um, takes damage on that damage over time times two so it doubles so again this is why I'm, I'm trying to build a team around her because um, of the, the ability that, that she, she brings to the to to the PvP meta and her last passive skill is fan meeting so this is pretty much um, I, I'll just explain this as simple as possible when she's attacked um, all living here, all living allies that she has will will attack that enemy if that enemy has less than thirty percent has thirty percent or less health or less than thirty percent health. So this actually is just a counter, but a big counter, more or less, when she's attacked with an enemy with less than thirty percent health. So it's 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 it. It happens once every turn so this is just a bonus but overall um, if you can just um, if you can see her skills that she brings to the table she brings a lot she brings control 
she brings tempo control she brings uh she modifies damage and she gives a lot of um, pluses to the game so again um they have added i think flow of mana as well um this is actually from what i've seen yesterday it was not here but anyway my i might have forgot i'm not sure i'm trying to recall i'm really trying to recall if i've seen this yesterday but anyway it's good that it's here but based on what i've seen with her passive she's very op um if this if all of these are going to be out tomorrow man you have to summon for her um, there's no really option but to summon for her pity for her if you if you must um i will actually i will pity summon her um, i really want to build this deck and let's move on to to the other components of this team so um again Jinai is 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 uh your must have hero for this team if you want if you don't have her for your damage overtime pvp team this won't work at all so let's move on to the next i'll just discuss this briefly because um because these characters you probably know their skills already i'll just i'll just discuss what what they bring to the team so um dorka is here uh for mana and for healing and for damage over time uh damage over time in her s1 so she's important here because of her heal um, and her mana as well so that is what she brings to this team she's number two in terms of what you really need to build this team your third person for this team which um, I think is a must is Garf Garf is um, again adds mana as well so uh, increases your the defense defense and uh, increases defense and health of your team um, if Garf has more health than than everyone so let me just double check yes so grants allies with lower maximum health so if Garf um, has higher health than everybody then then she gives 20% heal and defense to everyone so her role here is mainly to protect Jinai because um, I think you should build Jinai with the lowest health so that Garf can protect her once she takes damage because Garf gives her gives her um, shared heal a sh shared health sorry um, so again um, also Garf has damage over time so for his S1 as well. So that is why Garf in, is in this team. So your fourth person for this one is actually Kylock. So Kylock is, you can actually use Kylock now. He's actually going to be good in this team because of, because of Absorb Soul. So heals 100% of all damage overtime effect on all enemies if affected with soul bond so again you have to activate soul bond you have to increase um dorka's attack for him to activate this one so you'll be immune to other damage over time um enemies um if you encounter probably a, another team with uh, with uh Jinai, then this this dude is really going to help you um, he's here mostly for that and also he has a damage over time um, skill in his s2 uh, which contributes to da damage over time damage for this team so we've already covered four but the fifth one is actually interchangeable so the fifth one is for now is Naomi here she is so Naomi is um, I wanted to use Naomi because I want to take take advantage of soul bond from Dorka so um, with this one Naomi provides provoke and she provides um, share health to the whole team so again the whole team is built on defense not just on damage over time she it's actually 
is immune as well to, to share health damage if she is affected with salt ban. That is why she can survive this one. Um, I think the, the synergy between the three uh, Bran heroes would really give this team its core. Um, you have the three and Garf and, uh, and Jinai. Um, okay, so that's five already, but as you see the picture, you have six, so you have Iris. Iris is there because if you want to swap out for damage, sorry, for, for first guardians, uh, just in case you encounter first guardians, you can swap in Iris there. So it's a choice. Uh, again, we haven't play tested this 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 uh, team yet, so I'm not sure if the existing first five can take damage from first guardians. So probably one. If if the enemy has one, probably yes. But if many, I'm not sure. So it has to be play tested still. So again, I just put Iris here as the sixth man or sixth woman because she will deal with, with first guardians once you inserted her in the lineup. You can take out either um, Naomi or Garf for this one. And the the special guest for this one, probably your, your seventh, your team manager, is Tatalo. So again, you can try to swap out Naomi for Tatalo. Because again, Tantalo is here because he has he has better skills and he has damage a damage over time skill for his S1 as well. So um, more or less he he fits better with the team depending on your preference and depending on how you're going to build the team. But Naomi is initially there because I wanted to try out the synergy first of the brand heroes or the new brand heroes that uh, arrived for update 2.0 well if you take a look at what i have right now so this is more or less your concept team with Janai still in her regular form so i'll try to get her such something for her so again um this team is built on um defense so for my end game strategy you must put up a lot of defense because Jinai must survive here. Protect her at all costs if you must. Um, this team comp is really not not um, not fixed. It can be changed into changeable parts, but um, if I would suggest you try this one first, then tweak it with, with the other suggestions that I gave. So, and the second strategy or end game strategy or team strategy for this one is dealing as much damage over time as possible because you'll be you'll be you'll be um, sh uh, providing a shell for everybody while you try to deal damage to the opponent so and while Jinai slows them down and while Jinai probably uh, makes your team faster so that's basically it for your team strategy so this requires a lot of playtest. I'll, I'll, I'll playtest this once I have Jinai and try to upgrade uh, some of the heroes here, especially for the Bran heroes. I haven't upgraded Kylock and uh, Naomi for my team, although they're in 6 star already, but their gear is, is, is really, really bad. So anyway guys, um, please tell me what you think of this proposed damage over time team also please try to subscribe to my channel because your subscription really helps me and really drives me to create better content for you guys so that concludes my video let me know what you think in the comments below your disagreements your agreements your grievances whatever it is in your mind so you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video Warden out.